Hey guys, it's Tux here. Uh, in the last episode of Tux Talks, I reviewed a bunch of sinks and gave my thoughts and ranked them. And in this episode, we're going to be ranking toilets, another bathroom appliance that's pretty pretty needed in everyday life if you want to go by or not, depending on your life choices. But uh, most of the time, we do use toilets. So let's get on with the video. At our number six spot, we have the worst possible toilet you could possibly use ever it's those sharing urinals like like there's like just you get to share the same urinal with someone else and yeah at number five we have the the public automatic toilets the thing i don't like about them is that like the flush noise is like loud and it's unexpected and the thing about it is that since it's automatic you never know when it's coming so you're just doing your business taking a whiz then then all of a sudden you walk out of the toilet then all of a sudden you hear like a loud flush noise like Shh! you're like oh my gosh when i love it like it just catches you by surprise and, and you don't know what's gonna happen because because it's just really loud and number four we have the normal normal toilets uh in public bathrooms uh the thing i don't like about them is also that they're loud but at least they're not automatic so at least you know when the flush sound is coming, you know, you can just activate it. Sometimes you you don't even need to activate it. I mean, it's just a little pee, right? I mean, like, what's the worst that could happen? Someone splashes it on someone else. Like, who would do that? Like, let's be honest. Um, But yeah, uh, so it's still pretty loud, which also kind of stinks, especially when you're in, like a contained space, you know, like those tiny bathrooms uh, that have contained space. So the sound just travels right in your ear. Yeah, that, that's not very pleasant, but it's better than you being caught by surprise. Um, public bathrooms in general, mini rant, they're, they're awful. I don't know who in their right minds decided it was a good idea to make a public bathroom. There should be like a personal bathroom for everyone uh, with like a urinal and like a normal toilet just because and make sure the toilet's not automatic. Uh, anyway, at number three, speaking of urinals, at number three, we have um, we have the urinal <laughs> that's literally number three number three is the urinal and the reason i'm putting uh the urinals at number three is because you get to stand rest in peace women who can't use the toilets the urinals but they're actually pretty cool the thing about urinals is you could stand up so like you don't need like take off your pants and just sit down you can just you can just whip your your thing out and then just pee it's it's that easy uh, no need for like any. So, sometimes they have like a flushing, but most of the time you don't even need to flush. It, it just goes in, like all the pee just goes inside, and you don't need to worry. Um, so that's why it's pretty good. It's pretty efficient. And uh, at number two, we have the normal old toilets in your house. The reason I like them is because they're comfy and nice, and like they're not in public space, so there, there's a likely chance that nothing bad happened on the toilet. So so you're good. It's it's good and it's also really comfy. And 90% of the time, 99% of the time, the toilet sound isn't even that loud. Like it's just like a tiny little flush. Like I don't understand why public bathrooms have to make the toilets really loud, but they just do it for some reason. And at the number one spot, it's probably one of the greatest toilets is those Japanese toilets where you don't even have to like wipe. Like like let's say you want to go take a dump or something. And you don't even have to wipe, cause like who in their right minds would want to wipe? No, you want you want to have a toilet that does it for you. So so the toilet just splashes water on you, and you're all good to go. Like you don't even need to put your hands. Like you could just sit there and wait, and then it's all done. So that's my ranking of every single toilet ever. I probably missed out on a bunch, but yeah. So if you disagree with me, like always, you suck and bye.